2022 was an incredible year for crime films full of non-stop suspense, thrilling twists, and nail-biting action or the darker sides of humanity. Find out why they created such a buzz and why fans are raving about them. You need to tell me what really happened in here tonight. Leonard is one of the best tailors in England who finds himself being uprooted after an unfortunate tragedy. He now finds himself in Chicago, where he runs a small shop. His only customers are the most wealthy and powerful of families in the neighborhood. All of them are in the mob and this leads to one dangerous night for Leonard as he outweets the mafia to see another day. Directed and co-written by Graham Moore, The Imitation Game, this crime drama stars Mark Rylance, Zoe Deutsch, Johnny Flynn. Thousand blue boys out there hunting for this. And if they find it, I start shooting. You follow? Making matters worse, there are a thousand rack boys hunting for it too. And if they find it, they start shooting. You follow? On Halloween, Gotham City Mayor Don Mitchell Jr. is murdered by the Riddler, a masked serial killer. It's not just a Reclusive billionaire Bruce Wayne, who has operated for two years as the vigilante Batman, investigates the murder alongside the Gotham City Police Department, GCPD. So if you had some money, what would you do? Emily, Aubrey Plaza, is saddled with student debt and locked out of the job market due to a minor criminal record. Desperate for income, she takes a shady gig as a dummy shopper, buying goods with stolen credit cards supplied by a handsome and charismatic middleman named Youssef, Theo Rossi. Faced with a series of dead-end job interviews, Emily soon finds herself seduced by the quick cash and illicit thrills of black market capitalism, and increasingly interested in her mentor Youssef. Together, they hatch a plan to bring their business to the next level in Los Angeles. Sorry? I said, are you gonna pay for that? My God. Sorry, man. Officers down in front of the bank, automatic weapons being fired. Needing money to cover his wife's medical bills, a decorated veteran teams up with his adoptive brother to steal $32 million from a Los Angeles bank. However, when their getaway goes spectacularly wrong, the desperate thieves hijack an ambulance that's carrying a severely wounded cop and an EMT worker. Caught in a high-speed chase, the two siblings must figure out a way to outrun the law while keeping their hostages alive. These guys are nut jobs. Kimmy? I'm here. What time is it? It's 7.26 a.m. Zoe Kravitz and Steven Soderbergh team up to bring this top thriller to life. Not only does it touch on the COVID-19 pandemic, but it also addresses our ever more technologically entwined lives. An agoraphobic tech worker discovers recorded evidence of a violent crime, but is met with resistance when she tries to report it. Seeking justice, she must now do the thing she fears the most, she must leave her apartment. Is it true? West Point, 1830. In the early hours of a grey winter morning, a cadet is found dead. But after the body arrives at the morgue, tragedy becomes savagery when it's discovered that the young man's heart has been skillfully removed. Fearing irreparable damage to the fledgling military academy, its leaders turn to a local detective, Augustus Landor, Christian Bale, to solve the murder. Stymied by the cadet's code of silence, Landor enlists the help of one of their own to pursue the case, an eccentric cadet with a disdain for the rigors of the military and a penchant for poetry. Emmett just wanted to go on vacation and have fun with his cousin. He never thought anything would happen to him. Chino Nichekwu's Till is about the brutal murder of the 14-year-old Emmett Till in 1955, and the fight of his incredible mother Mamie to achieve justice for him and to clarify the murder as a racist hate crime bolstered by white supremacist regimes in America. It is one of the best-made films of the year, an exquisitely crafted, and searingly emotional period piece that manages to be hyper-relevant and is entirely anger-inspiring. And Danielle Deadweiler, as Mamie Till Mobley, is nothing short of incredible. The strength and rage in her performance, all channeled into a magnetic power, absolutely astounding. Deer Creek International Business Solutions, how can I help you? I am ready. Well, that's great.
Pitt's bad luck hitman, codenamed Ladybug, boards a bullet train in Japan, with orders to acquire a briefcase full of cash. Alas, he's not the only skilled assassin on board, with each pursuing different marching orders, confusion as to who's pulling the strings, and a whole lot of miscommunications along the way. On the world's fastest train. From the director of Deadpool 2, David Leach, the end of the line is only the beginning in a wild, non-stop thrill ride through modern-day Japan. Outside. The five of you are villains. Never have there been five friends as infamous as the bad guys, dashing pickpocket Mr. Wolf, seen it all safecracker Mr. Snake Chill Master of Disguise, Mr. Sharp, short fused muscle Mr. Piranha, and sharp tongued expert hacker Ms. Tarantula, aka Webbs. But when, after years of countless heists and being the world's most wanted villains, the gang is finally caught, Mr. Wolf brokers a deal that he has no intention of keeping to save them all from prison, the bad guys will go good. Under the tutelage of their mentor, Professor Marmalade, an arrogant but adorable guinea pig, the bad guys set out to fool the world that they've been transformed. Along the way, though, Mr. Wolf begins to suspect that doing good for real may give him what he's always secretly longed for, acceptance. Well, this just got a little weird. No! Wolf! It is the story of a snobbish NYC-based writer looking to break into the world of podcasting who travels to Texas after a woman he hooked up with once is found dead. He decides to make a podcast about the investigation that frames cultural differences between the North and South. And the movie is a fascinating study of what might compel even the most detached, exploitative, intellectual person to commit an act of vengeance. Plus, it features an exceptional performance from Ashton Kutcher. I'm going to record everything that you think happened to Abilene, and we'll put it on a podcast, and we'll see where it leads. What? Un tipo como yo. Entonces, ¿qué hacemos? Hay que armar un equipo cuanto antes. Argentina, 1985, is a feature inspired by the true story of Julio Stracera, Luis Moreno Ocampo, and their young legal team of unlikely heroes in their David vs. Goliath battle in which, under constant threat, they dared to prosecute Argentina's bloodiest military dictatorship against all odds and in a race against time to bring justice to the victims of the junta. What did he say? He says he loves you, but he went in a different direction. I'm done. Nicolas Cage stars as Nick Cage in the action comedy The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Creatively unfulfilled and facing financial ruin, the fictionalized version of Cage must accept a $1 million offer to attend the birthday of a dangerous superfan, Pedro Pascal. Things take a wildly unexpected turn when Cage is recruited by a CIA operative, Tiffany Haddish, and forced to live up to his own legend, channeling his most iconic and beloved on-screen characters in order to save himself and his loved ones. With a career built for this very moment, the seminal award-winning actor must take on the role of a lifetime, Nick Cage. Nick Cage, I love you! Have you seen Croods 2? I'm 44 years old. Why would I see Croods 2? I've seen Face Off and Con Air. What do you guys want? We're with Central Intelligence. Do you know who you're spending time with?